But let's spend our upgrades first. All right, let's just finish this these off. Better lasers, better long range finders. We have a we did build up a lot of experience here. All right. Um not necessarily planning on using that one, but why not? Current record 24. We're 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 chipping away at it. We are absolutely chipping away at it. All right, ballista Put them next to the town so that we get early income and also defend our tower. All right, what do we do? What do we do this time? Do we do we go early obelisk? No, we go early slow. The slow is going to be useful regardless. Ba early banditry. We need the early banditry for the extra cash. Hmm, do we want early tower? No, we want early frost bolts too. And I don't want that there. So we put that there, build this up. At this point, all right, mana bolts. All right, well, there is the shredder. Or do we want to go radar? I'm not too sure about the radar. Let's try, let's give shredder another try. We'll give Shredder another try. Not not right this sec. I'm gonna go Econ. Mana Bank. Well, that gives that that opens up options. We could also go Mana Siphon. We definitely have a way to unlock our mana this time around. Let's do mana siphon because it's less investment. We can we can more modularly expand ourselves. And then we can get into a mana intensive item, even though the shredder doesn't need it, but we can complement that with, you know, say a Tesla coil. Uh yeah, we'll expand you. We're going to t start taking some damage, but that's triple defense for you. There's our Tesla coil. I want that over banditry too. Yes. Okay. So we test the coil you, and then we goose up your armor a little bit. And we're going to have you just focus on whatever has the most of anything. And then this will be a good Tesla spot up here. And what our, our current natural mana progression is good enough to feed one Tesla. And then we've got the siphons to uh, goose our mana production further if needed. Ooh, there's another t good Tesla spot. But we, w we want at least one Tesla... At each route, at each route here. There we go. Uh, thrashing all shredders gain bleed. It's going to take a while for that to be that benefit to be realized, but I think it's worth it. Um, we could expand into here and get some double double, but first things first, we get a Tesla coil. Uh, shore up the armor, make it hit beefy things. Dang. Oh, actually, no, this is a good spot right here. This is going to be a good econ spot. Unfortunately, it leaves this gaping hole in here, but at least we get some some co some crossover coverage here. Come on, there we go. Power surge, yeah, that's that's the ticket. 
Yeah, we do that, and then we Ballista you. Because this is a perfect Ballista location for, for some double-double benefit. Mm, these guys are going to be a little iffy. Take a few shots to the face here. Bleed them dry. Well, we have the shredder. Yeah, bleed them dry. We do have the shredder. We could start using it once we have the money. I'm going to build a Tesla coil up here. Just to help out. I think this spot needs a little bit more oomph. Yeah, I'm not too worried about this hitting our tower. Mana does not know. Tower equals life points. If the tower goes down to zero health, game over. Mana is just what fuels some of my towers, um, such as the Tesla coils. That, those require mana. Uh, and if I don't have mana, then they can't fire. Ah, uh, yeah. Hardened blade sounds good to me. Um, now, so we got all of our paths... Tr um, with this, I think a shredder right here would actually, because that still pays off and it can shred in either direction here. So let's do that and pop down a shredder here. Most health. Give you a little shield damage, although that's kind of useless, but most health, most health, most health. Ooh. All right, we took a little we took a little hit here. We didn't goose the uh, armor damage up enough, and we just need some more stuff. We need a we need a shredder up here, is what we need. Ah, uh, heavy shafts deal one damage to armor. Yeah, we'll do heavy shafts plus one damage to armor. Let's expand you out. Let's get you. Yeah, most health, most armor, most shield. Yeah, these these things make me a bit nervous. They need time to, to get shredded. Oh, our, man, our mana is doing real bad. Ooh. Ah! And they all hit the tower. Well, in this case, you know, you kind of were right, Chuckabo. Um, mana did kind of equal life points because I didn't have enough mana. And thus my thing couldn't fire fast enough and therefore they got to us. Well, I... Um, I, I uh, call, call me humbled, call me humbled, but not defeated. We will, we will be back here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, dude, man. Thanks for stopping by. We were actually one more. All right, all right. Twist my arm, twist my arm, because that one was kind of short. I'll, I'll give you that. One more, one more, one. But then I gotta go to bed. I actually started my new IRL day job. Uh, today went went really really well a lot better than this is going they're giving me more houses i think they're trying to be merciful all right got all that down expand uh encampments no slow thank you dude man yeah it's a, a big step up in both responsibilities but also thankfully pay uh, I, that the new job is not going to, to change anything with what I do as uh, with YouTube. I'm still going to be posting as often as I do because uh, I like doing YouTube too much to not do it. 
Um, all right, what do we got here? All right, shredders. Shredders. All right, you're early enough. I will take. I will give you one more chance, shredders. I'm gonna expand you out. Plus one to the health. Okay. All right, we're going heavy shredder again because that did seem to work well for us. We're gonna put you one first one up here. Shredders gain bleed. That's good. And our next shredder can be placed actually up here. We'll be able to hit both of these lanes. Thank you, dude, man. Um, oh, thank you for pointing out the missing ballista between the houses. Good point. We were, we were missing out on some double doubles. But thank you so much, dude, man. All right. And we took some tower damage, but we don't have banditry yet, so... And some more tower damage. Okay. Well, I'm glad we don't have banditry. Jeez. All right. Yeah, we're going to go all in on, on the blades. We're going to put these here for now, just so that we can make some cash money off of them. All right, more tower damage, but again, we're not. Hardened blades, shields. Obelisks, we could go into obelisks like later on, but, or do we want bleed them dry? Bleed them dry, I think is required if we're going heavy shredder. Let's expand you out a little further. Yeah, this is getting a little dicey. We're going to need that shredder. Otherwise, we're going to just keep taking tower damage. Yeah, little little tower damage there, but that's okay. More bleed? Heck yes. Okay, now we really want a shredder. Most health, most armor. Actually, most most health. We want we want you to just target the beefy. And we want to stagger this so that the first shot goes off here. All right, mana bank. We don't need that yet. Frost bolts. Frost bolts. All right, we expand this again. We get we get this down so we can get our econ flowing. Yeah, so it it shreds down here first and then it gets a good shred off over here. Uh, why do you go that direction? That is the wrong direction. All right, more tower, more da damage because you weren't shooting the right direction. Bleed them dry too. Yeah, I think we need bleed them dry too. And then in this case, you know what? I th I'm not sure I like the settings for this. I think we go progress. I think we 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 set the, we keep them back on the progress, progress, progress. Just like that one. I know, shred, shred them up. They haven't, they have not worked for us yet, but I see the potential. They're there, the potential is there. But we also gotta get our in econ game roll in here.
Yeah, see, it hits the front guy and then it rolls backwards. So that's actually probably a bit better. And then that bleed ticking down absolutely helps. We need, we need another, like, we need a whole freaking cluster of them up here. We're still taking tower damage, but we're also not being hit with banditry. Thrashing three already. Like, this is all going in on bleed. Hey, right, we want to keep these nice and uneven. Probably want to put a couple ballistas up here once we're, once we're good and ready. Yeah, these guys are getting a little close. All right, good. Another we got we got one last saw blade attack on them, which is enough to. Ooh, and another one too. Beaut. Oh my god, thrashing four at level eleven. I can't not do that. So we are stacking so much bleed with each of these uh, things here. And yeah, we got more things, but no, we need to focus on, on more shredders and we need them like right here in this big plateau. This is going to be like shredder plateau. Actually a shredder right there would be good. A shredder right here would be good. Come on, kill something, kill someone, someone kill something. All right, no, we're, we're going back here. Yeah, that's, that's got enough range. And we get a whole crap ton of shredders up here. Come on. Yeah, saw blade him. That's what we're talking about. Attacks against bleeding enemies have a 5% crit chance. Yes. That's what we're talking about. All right, yeah, we need some more advanced placements up here just to get the bleeds going sooner. Put you up here. Oh man, stop tempting me. Come on, give me some plus three goodness. Yes. Shoot him! Shoot him! So how are we doing on these bleeds here? I mean, they're ticking down pretty quickly. Come on. What the heck was that? All right, that was a lot of tower damage, but that was a weird shot. Hmm, do we want to go into encampments? I think we kind of do. These place landmines. That might be a smart move. I mean, we're not abandoning shredders by any measure, but it gives us a safety net is what that does. An encampment right here would be, well, no, actually it would be terrible, but um yeah we'll we'll go from here let's stagger these all right we're at 14 so next one's gonna be oogie no no not pay to play i mean you you buy the game and then you play it there's no like pay to win or in-game in-app purchases or any nonsense like that trust me it is it is you just buy it once and Th that's it. Yeah, I mean, there there is an unlock system, but it's all done through, um, you know, in in game progression. You get XP from, you know, completing levels and waves and whatnot. Um, but yeah, no, nothing nothing scummy about this. Absolutely nothing scummy. You're you. It is all good. Yeah, see, this is our little insurance policy over here. Ballistas get range. No, we're going to keep going with the shredders. Exactly, dude, man. Yeah, we put you up here. And then we're, we, we can slap down an encampment. Hmm, no, 
not sure that really does enough. Oh, there's Oogie. Um, let's make sure Oogie's getting slow. He's bleeding. That's a good thing. Uh, and we do have landmines for Oogie. All right, plenty of this. Plenty, we got plenty of bleed tick here. So his bleed ticks are going down quick. And he's gonna start stepping on landmines. I think we'll be okay. Bam. Dead. All right. Um, campments gain range. All right, so, so hear me out. Hear me out. We've got the Shredder, which is really good against, um, uh, for bleeding. We've got the Encampment, which is actually really good anti-armor. Let's get the Particle Cannon, which is really good anti-shield. The Particle Cannon is top tier anti-shield technology. We get you, we find a nice, we need to get you a nice plus three. Because this thing is so long range, it would be a it would be criminal. Yeah, we put this up here because this thing can reach, and this thing goes most shield, most shield, most shield, and that's that's some good stuff right there. Uh, oh yeah, let's get some treasure. Make them suffer. Yes, I mean the mine could help us out. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's get the mine. Mine helps us out. Trail of blood. Hardened blades make them suffer. Yeah, you know we do we do extra damage to armor. Hardened blades. Ballistas deal damage to shields. No, we're gonna go hardened blades. We're gonna we're gonna trust in the particle cannon to wipe out those shields. We're gonna might need more of them, but plus one damage to shields. There we go. Antimatter. Okay. Um. I do want an encampment here. What's the range on you? Not enough. Not there anyway. What's the range on you up here? Yes. Because that should toss mines in both lanes. All right. I do want an encampment up here. Because um, this area is pretty poorly defended, in my opinion. But let's keep going. So this thing fires very slowly. But it will seek out and just blast anything that has shields. Why are you hitting the... Why are you hitting that thing? You're, you're not hitting the... Uh... I did say most... Oh boy. That's a battering ram. Ugh! And we don't have we don't have the anti shield tech up here. Crits deal ten percent of the current bleed. Particle cannons gain ten range. Yeah, that I, I'll give them ten range. Or crits deal ten percent damage. Yeah, that actually might be a good combo. Let's get a mine built so that we can get a little bit more hit points on our tower. I'm going to extend this out a little bit. Pah! Oh yeah, we get you. Shield, 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 please. 
There you go. We need more... I mean, it's taken a good chunk off of them, I'll, I will admit, but we need to pop these sooner. Because we're taking tower damage. We need the encampment is what we need up here. Banditry. Too little too late, honestly. Uh, plus one to shields. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that, that works out nicely. That encampment there gets us some emergency mines to protect our butts from. Um, and then we roll over the next one and then we get more shredders. I think we need double barreled shredders up here, like another one up here. So you know what? We're going to expand you. We're going to get another shredder up here. We still need to spam more of these up here. Because there's still some really good shredder spots. Like this one up here. And these shredders, I mean, the shredders are really the star. We've been putting all of our level into that. Oh yeah, our mana. We need mana. Those things eat up a lot of mana when they fire. So we need to find a way to get more mana. Encampments gain range, ballistas to health. Slow but sure. Man, I don't like, well, no, we like Trail of Blood. But we need more mana, and we don't have a means of getting mana. What I am going to get is more mines to help repair the tower. But yeah, we need more mana for those particle cannons to fire properly. Yeah, right now they're not... They're not being anywhere near as effective as they could be. Oh, these bats. They're, they're sweeping the mines. But yeah, two of these shredders here are being effective. And we don't need a ton of, of mana generation. We should still be pretty darn good. There we go. Mana bank. Mana bank. That's what we're talking about. Just talking about my friend Mana Bank. Let's get two of them. Um, and then I want another shredder. I want a shredder. I want a shredder up here so that we can start making money off of the off the houses. Actually, you know what? No, we need to we need to start properly tapping the houses with ballistas so that we don't waste their their financial potential. Now the particle cannons are firing as often as they can. And we may need more in the future. Now that we have the mana capacity for it. This one, yeah, this one's still being iffy. 
Landmines deal damage to shields, damage to armor. Ballistas deal damage to armor. We, we're, we, we, we've already taken our anti-shield tech here. Um, yeah, we can take high explosives. That's fine. Yeah, a plus three up here should be good. I mean, we could put a, an encampment up here. Just to start softening people up. That wouldn't be too bad. And these are all running nice and parallel to each other, so these are being useful. What we really need to do is just put enough stuff down here that we just kind of cap it. Yeah, these fast runners here. I think just a couple ballistas are really what we need. And maybe an earlier uh, shredder up here. Ooh, we're getting some zombie sheep in here. We're taking some tower damage. Yeah, this area is just still not nearly effect uh, effective enough. Okay, that was that that hurt. That hurt. Insanguinate. Guys, can you stop? Alright. Um, so yeah, we need an extra shredder up here to start the uh, damage ticking sooner. I think that is the correct answer, and then we expand one of these paths. Yeah, I hate the fit these runners because they are clearing the mines. That's the one downside to the mine. Ow, ow. Like, we got this whole area up here covered. I'm not worried about them. I'm worried about down here. Down to two hit points. Ooh. All right, antimatter. Antimatter two. Yeah. Oh, we don't have enough for that. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to trust it to fate. All right. So here's what we do: we shred her up here, and we buy armor. We buy lots of armor. We can't let you guys get through, but with extra saws, anything is possible. Yeah, these encampments are not doing enough. They're not they're not pooping out the 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 landmines quickly enough. But these saws, these saws are doing work. Hey Charlie the Kobold! How's it going? Make them suffer. No, antimatter three. More damage to shields. Another particle cannon would be nice. Chainsaw cannons are the uh, solution to everything. I, I am I am inclined to agree with you. I am absolutely inclined to agree with you. And both of these are at 1500, but what's the more effective one? I think the shredder is. If I'm gonna be honest. Just wish there were some better spots for these. I mean, we got a plus three for here, but I want it to—I want these to be able to hit multiple lines. Like a plus two right here would be pretty good. You're gonna get some shield boosts. That's what you're gonna get. I'm gonna put you down here. That should hold this line for a moment. For a hot minute, anyway, as it were. Oh, 
I think our next thing is we save up for a particle cannon. And we use it to say hi. To shield, to shield, to shield. And sh level up shield damage. We also build more mines. Because our tower, we're still on almost lethal. Do we not have any iron veins? Like, we have the one. Do we have any other iron veins? No. This is a low iron map. We cannot build mines if we do not have the veins. Uh, shredders gain crit chance. Yes. More, more buffs to shredders. Please. I've never seen a map so devoid of iron. All right, I do think we do want to slap down another encampment. Actually, right where this thing is, but that's kind of high leveled. An encampment up here? No, because these aren't enough. I think a shredder up here would be good. We're not getting two here. Yes, we do have an iron deficiency, most certainly. Yeah, I think this this lower area is good for now. So we folk we turn our focus back north again and just keep these things running parallel. Oh, zombie ugi. Ah, zombie ugi. Uh, what's a good spot for zombie ugi? Actually, why am I emergency placing that? We need an emergency particle cannon is what we need. Because the part, if anything's going to save us from zombie Oogie, it's going to be the particle cannons. Are we going to get enough for another one? Well, they're starting to get slowed, and yeah, no, no, this is enough. This is enough. What do the cannons do? They, um, they, they use, um, deal singular damage to shields really, really well at a long distance. They're basically like snipers. Um, Shredders deal damage to health. That's pretty good. So they are our means of destroying shields in this run. Mm. Broadhead bolts. Heavy particles. Mana bolts. Oh, particle ga cannons gain a crit chance. Ooh. Yes, please. We are firing our lives. What is it that slows Oogie down? Um, the uh, ballistas gain a slow chance. Um, they, they are that rather they inflict slow. Uh, that's one of our upgrades we got from them. Ten percent slow. And if you have a bunch of ballistas firing at him, the slow adds up. So definitely good for boss killing. All right. Did we pick up any more my iron? I don't think we did. Uh, we got 1,500. Can we get an encampment here? What's your range? That's actually really good. I'm willing to do an encampment there. So these lay, lay mines out here. All right, let's expand you. Yeah, now these little demon guys, these guys regenerate like crazy, which is why the bleed is so important on them. But hey, we beat Zombie Yogi, so... That is, um... That we, we beat our personal best. So I'm glad we did for, went for one more. Yeah, we, we got enough saws down here that we're cleaning up nicely. Landmines deal burn damage. Now, now you're you're talking to me, but Shredders getting crit chance is also talking to me. So now we're at 20% crit chance for Shredders. And we have a, exactly enough for another one. 
What a coincidence! That's a beautiful shredder for me. Oh, and we can, we could start getting into universities now, but we don't have them yet. Uh, and also, still no iron. I'm gonna leave the low. I'm gonna leave the south alone, because these these going like this is where we really want to extend our stuff. Aha! Iron. I do, is there literally? Yeah, I can only place one mine off of that iron. That's awful. I hate when the runners just run over the mines, because the runner, like, it seems to do so little to them. Yep, that's even better. Superheating. Particle damage deal burn. Oh. Or monster studies, yes. But particle cannons dealing burn? We're in the phase where enemies have armor? Um and have armor regen. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to go, instead of most shield, most shield, most armor, we want two entries of most shield, one entry of most armor. So that we can start burning, um, we can start burning some of the armored foes that would otherwise have armor regen. And I think our next particle cannon needs to be, yeah, I know. Cheeky little, cheeky little game. Yeah, we want we want another particle cannon. We want it further up so we can start firing sooner. And you need to be sh armor, shield, shield. And we're gonna boost up your armor damage so that you can actually start chewing through armor here. We're gonna need more banks. Everything bleeds. Everything. Although, hmm. No, we're going to do monster studies because we, we do actually want to keep ble ble bleeding ticks on them. Um, so plus one damage. Everything does da extra damage to armor is going to help. Why put most... So the, the particle cannons, if you can see here, shield multiplier, a, a, a shot from the particle cannon will deal this much damage to shields, but if it hits armor, um, it does a lot less. Um, now, that being said, now that it starts applying burn, burn is the dot of choice um, for melting armor. So we do actually want them to aim at armored targets. We want them to aim at shielded targets more, so that's why we put two copies of most shield. So basically, we're telling them like, okay, if somebody has a lot of shields, target the shields. But if there's not a lot of shields out there and somebody has a ton of armor, take a shot at the armored foe for the chance of setting them on fire. And we're also going to manually level some of them up for armor damage so that they can actually hit armor, like with the initial impact, decently well. It put you up. Ooh, a raised tower. That's like an extra, extra special goodie. Uh, yeah, we probably want another particle cannon up here. And this thing's going to have range. Or, you know what? I could put a shredder up there. A shredder up there would probably be even smarter. Uh, you guys are getting a little close for comfort here. We might want an extra particle cannon here. Make them suffer. Everything bleeds. Firestorm. 
I don't want to rely on landmines to do burn. Um, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll do everything bleeds. More, more bleed, more good. All right. So this thing up here that I put up here, we're gonna we're gonna goose, we're gonna shore it, shore up its weaknesses essentially, and then we're gonna start expanding out this way. Because when they're up high like this, they get extra damage. Um, Yeah, now we have the fires and missile guys. These guys are super dangerous. Oh, and we're getting hit by hitting on the tower. I think this might be the end. Yeah. There goes the, the missiles. And we're done. We are done. Ah. Yeah, so once the missile guys came out, that we, we did not have the ability to deal with armor quite aggressively enough. But we got 29 levels. I'm happy. I'm happy. We did really well. I'm glad we did one more. So not done yet, but I will keep trying at this. But for now, I think we're going to sign off. Um, if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!